Hello, I hope this video finds you in good spirits. Uh, my name is Caliber. I go by many names. You can call me any of those names. Just put respect on my name. Uh, I didn't expect to do a video tonight. I look like the Wolfman. Um, I do. I look like the Wolfman. But um, I just saw something and it just irked me. Um, it ticked me off. Um, I want to see if you can figure it out also. Um, I was on X, which is strange because, uh, Gen X is called X Twitter and now it's called X. And, um, I clicked on a link and it brought me to Fandom Wire. And, uh, everyone knows I'm, um, I pay attention to entertainment issues, especially black entertainment. Um, everyone knows, um, I'm, Pay attention to the MCU for whatever that's worth nowadays, and um, people know I'm uh, I'm I am a person who tries to be positive, and I try to um, I root for people. One of the persons I root for is Jonathan Majors. Um, like I root for Brian Tyree Henry. Um, like I root for Tiana Paris. Um, you know, like I root for Tahari P Henson. Like I root for Monique. Um, I root for you know, people who are in the entertainment industry. Um, I'm just not a hater. Sorry. But uh, I see um, in Fandom Wire, and, like, and we're back, uh, Jonathan Major's replacement confirmed one of MCU worst rated movie sequels can introduce a villain Marvel just confirmed as strong as Thanos. My response is, why? Um, basically, what the article is saying, uh, wow, what the article is saying is, um, last week, for the past two or three weeks, um, they've been trying to, uh, they meaning mainstream media, especially in um, the whole um, superhero genre, have been trying to move away from Kang. Um, because mainstream media goofed the whole Jonathan Majors trial. But I'll get to that later. Um, but uh, they've been trying to move away from Kang, and they've been trying to create a new villain for um, the MCU. Um, and it hasn't been working out. It hasn't stuck. Um, they tried Thanos. Thanos' story is just basically done. Um, the only thing you can do with Thanos is make him into an anti anti-hero um so now they're saying hmm, well we'll do urinals and i'm like y'all just throwing anything up against the wall because you don't want to go back and admit that you fumbled jonathan major's case i should say you fumbled his image that's really what i should say you fumbled it i'll get to that later um, when you go to, when I backed out of that article, cause I knew it was just another meaningless hit piece. I end up going to comic book resource where I decided, and it says, is Marvel dropping King and Jonathan Majors from the MCU? Okay. This is, this is published a day ago. Okay. Have you figured out why they're trying to present this? Have you figured that out yet? Okay, let's try some more. Uh, there's also uh, something from Yahoo, Disney, you know, Marvel Studios fired Jonathan Majors for being guilty. Okay, we covered that, was it five or six months ago? So that's old. So we got an old piece, an old hit piece. We got... Uh, the hater aid is so common. You got uh, Fandom Wire. And what Fandom Wire is doing, um, they're trying to still find a, a main villain. They try, they're trying to make you forget about Kang. Then we got Comic Book Resources still talking about Marvel dropping Kang. So basically what I see is a bunch of people trying to construct something at a certain time 
to make you forget about Kang. Do you know what's going on? You may have already figured it out. Okay, here's why. Um, they had to produce some stories quickly because last week, Jonathan Majors had a very, very good week. Um, I got to say, Jonathan Majors, I think he had no idea how much stuff he would expose unintentionally. He had no idea. He had no idea how much stuff he was he was would expose unintentionally, because last week, Jonathan Majors and his girlfriend, who I call Lady Megan, um, attended the AAFCA, uh, the African American Film Critics Association, and you know what? They looked wonderful. You know, we used to say in in what Britain in England, uh, they looked smashing. Um, Megan looked like springtime. Um, all the, uh, Marvel heads would understand what I'm about to say, but Jonathan Majors and Megan Good, they look like, um, Scott Summers and Jean Grey from X-Men Evolution. Uh, I love it. I loved it because they're two people who need each other. And I think they're both real. And... I love the positivity of that room when they were present. Um, it's a beautiful thing to see black people achieving and striving and trying to do something positive and um, something constructive. It's a beautiful sight to me. It really is. And uh, Jamie Foxx, you know, throwing jokes around was wonderful because Jamie Foxx has been through bloody hell and I'm glad he's doing well. Um, you know, I'm the kind of person I root for people. I root for people to do well. I root for Jeremy Renner. You know, I root for people to do well. Um, I've seen so much hate around me. I just don't want to see it anymore. I want people to prosper. I want Michael J. White and his wife to prosper. I want Anthony Mackie to prosper with his movie studio. I want people just to do well. Life's too short. But apparently I'm the only person who, well, I'm one of few people who feel that way. But, um, uh, when you look at the whole thing, um, him and Megan attended this um, award uh, luncheon. And then later that week, uh, Majors was spotted working out, um, getting ready for a roll. Hey, keep on climbing, bro. Keep climbing that ladder. Keep on climbing. Keep keep climbing that mountain. Uh, keep doing well. You know, mucho props to you. So many props to you. Keep Keep moving on. Keep keep on keep on moving. Um, I'm I'm glad to see him going forward. I really am. I'm glad to see him going forward. Um, I think I typed um, a response in um, X. I typed a uh, stand tall, King. Um, do do what do you do the things that you have a passion for, and he's gifted in his craft. I want him to do well. So that was last week. So now have you figured it out? Have you figured out what's going on? I said, have you figured it out? Uh, but have you figured out what's going on? Uh, what they're doing is he was involved in something positive and constructive. So now what they've got to do, they've got to put up these hit pieces ahead of the, pro of the progress that he's making, trying to more so try to hold him back. But hey, guess what? Me and other people can say, uh-uh, we see you. We see just what you're doing. You're bringing up some old stuff to hold this man back. Um, I made this video for the people who couldn't figure that out. I made this video for you, you people. I made the video because this man was a victim. He was victimized. Almost close to this time last year. You know, ain't nothing, whatever he did, it wasn't worth him having a female put her hands on him like that. Whatever he did, it wasn't it wasn't worth for her to put her hands on him like that. And uh mainstream media, you fumbled the ball. You you went to the go to answer. You thought it was the big black man who did something. And actually when you look at the evidence, that chick made Jonathan Majors into a scratching post. So 
mainstream media, I think the reason why you're pulling up these tired, inflated headlines is that you're trying to make up for the fact that you didn't know what in the hell you were doing. You dropped the ball. You screwed up. I see you. Other people see you. We all see you. And then you got to go back to this trial situation that happened almost this time last year. But here's the thing what I want to let you know. Why y'all cherry pick? Because if you can bring up some old stuff, what about the owner of Rolling Stone, Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, and Variety? What about what he did? If I had a, if I had a cup, I'd be like, have some tea. What about what he did? But you're gonna forget about that. But you're gonna go, you're gonna try to bring up some stuff with Jonathan Majors. See, this is where I see racism in Hollywood. I don't think Jonathan Majors set out to expose racism in Hollywood. I think he, Jonathan Majors' whole point is, I want to be the best actor that I can be. He wants to be on Denzel Washington, Sidney Poitier level. That's, that's what he wants. He wants that Jamie Foxx level. He wants that. You know, one time Jamie Foxx was just like, he was just nabbing awards. It was like he had a big old bag. He just nabbing awards. <laughs> you know, Jamie was just, was just, you know, collected. You know, that's what Jonathan Majors, he wants to be in that position. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with him trying to aspire and do well. But like many other black actors, like Denzel Washington, Jamie Foxx, Halle Berry, um, Angela Bassett, like many others on that level, um, there has not been an equal treatment. E even in pay, there has not been an equal treatment. But you see where someone still in their own way try to cherry pick about who should be up here. That's why I hate this whole um, issue of there can only be one black actor on top. And I'm like, why does there have to be one? I completely agreed with Chadwick Boseman. Um, may he rest in peace. Um, why does there have to be one? When Chadwick Boseman was talking about a, you know, there should have been a, a black version of Ocean's Eleven. Why does there have to be one? Why can't we have a bunch of black actors and actresses just rise to the top? Why can't we not have that? And um, I see a lot of uh, favoritism. I see some flat-out racism now going on. And another situation I see flat-out racism on, one is what I was about to mention of uh, the person who owns those media publications, with uh, Rolling Stone and Hollywood Reporter, the person who owns that, because they kept his stuff quiet. That's completely dismissed. But when we talk about Jonathan Majors, now we got to hear about I was in second grade and Jonathan Majors pushed me off the slide. You know, we got to hit, we got to go into all these details. So now we got to put a microscope under him, but that other dude, we can't talk about the stuff that happened to him. Um, this is where I'm just saying people are being mean spirited toward this man and they're being mean spirited also to black actors and actresses in Hollywood. And I'm not going to stop there. I'm sure there's some directors, black directors who caught heat, Spike Lee, who caught all kind of heat, Misha Green, um, and blowback, all kind of blowback. And I think this is where Hollywood really need to get it right. If you want to talk about diversity and representation, understand the group you're trying to represent. Understand the racism they have to deal with. Understand that racism and try not to have it in Hollywood. And mainstream media, which, you know, you are over here. Um, you need to clean up your act. Because uh, while you're trying to pink slip Jonathan Majors, AI is about to pink slip you. You need to get it together. Because you can be replaced. You know, you, <laughs> you, I hear Beyonce say, you must not know about me. I can see an AI robot say, you must not know about me. I can almost see that right now. Because you are replaceable. You keep writing these trash hit pieces. Why don't you go ahead and admit when it comes to Jonathan Majors, you made a huge mistake by trying to vilify his image. Why don't you do that? 
why don't you just own up to the fact that you made a mistake? Because, I mean, you can pretty much see it. If you can't see it, I mean, you're completely blind. If Ray Charles was alive, he could see it. It's, it's pretty obvious when you, you can go online, look at the evidence, and you can see where if this man is able to box and hurt someone, it would take more. If he did something to somebody, you wouldn't have to look for an injury. It would be very noticeable, especially on someone who's pale complexion. So I'm not buying that. You can call me cold or hard-hearted. I don't believe women. I don't believe men. I don't believe LGBTQ. I don't even believe children. I believe evidence. But I wanted to share that with you this evening. Um, black people, support your black stars. Support your black stars. Go see their movies. Go see their movies. You know, make it an event. Go see their movies. Support your black directors. Support your black producers. Go see your movies. Go see your movies. They're made for you. Go see your movies. Um, in Hollywood, I want you um, to do better. Disney, I want you to really do better. Because y'all not only disrespecting, you know, not only have you disrespected Jonathan Majors. Because I'm about ready to almost, I'm about ready to boycott y'all behind. Y'all ass look, your ass look trashy. Um, Disney, you look like a five dollar hoe. You know, you need to go somewhere and get that glow up. <laughs> like y'all need to fix y'all life, cause the way y'all handled Jonathan Majors and his stuff, that's that's ridiculous. And what's even worse is what's going on with Mahershala Ali. Um, let him have control, co creative control over that character. And I understand that the movie is called Blade. It's in a sh superhero genre. Blade is not a lifetime movie. Okay? Disney, I need you to go somewhere and recast T'Challa. Okay? We can have Jonathan Majors as Kane, in my opinion, Aldous Hodge as, as T'Challa, and you can have Mahershala Ali as Blade. We can have all that going on at one time. <laughs> no. We can have all that going on all at the same time. They prefer everything be at one time. And you have, okay, we got T'Challa right here. We'll wait a couple of years. Then we got Kang. Then we'll wait a couple of years. Then we got Blade because we waited a couple of years. No, they can all happen simultaneously at the same time. You can have three strong black male leads in a franchise bouncing off each other at the same time. I'll help you out because uh, Blade doesn't get along with T'Challa. You know, you got an open multiverse. You can make it happen. I even know of a way to um, make it happen where you can help out two franchises at one time. You know, I can do. I can help you out with that. I'm not gonna say it, but I can help you out with that. But I had to get out here and say that, and had to. I had to point out how the media is really trying their best to make people dislike Jonathan Majors, who is a person who is overcoming a bad situation. He's a fighter. He's no longer a victim. He's a fighter. And he's showing that. Display that man the way he is. Own up to your mistake, mainstream media. Own up to your mistake. Okay? Stop being a punk. Own up to your mistake. And stop coming for Megan Good. Stop coming for Megan Good, black people. Let that woman be happy. She's trying to produce stories for our culture. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. And what I'm saying is long overdue with Megan Good. Leave her alone. Okay? She ain't no punk. She for real. <laughs> she know just what she's doing. Okay? She, she, she's highly intelligent. Leave her alone. But as for these other people, mainstream media, get it together. Um, maybe Jonathan Majors doesn't need to go on an apology tour. Mainstream media, maybe you need to go on an apology tour. Because, uh, Y'all producing some garbage articles. Keep on. Keep on. And when you go to work and they say they gave your job to C3PO, don't say nothing. Okay? When you go and you decided, you know, you find out you can't get in the door and R2-D2 won't let you in, okay, it's because you didn't listen to me. We're tired of the hit pieces on Jonathan Majors. We're tired of 
black characters still being underused and not um completely done we're tired we're tired i think even white people are tired of it <laughs> i think white people are tired of it uh you need to embrace black culture the way it is you know it, it means that you're embracing good writing but that's all i got for now i got some other things i gotta do um uh jonathan majors uh keep on keeping on man um climb up that ladder uh megan good keep on making those um uh, entertainment moves for your show um and disney please get it together please get it together you know hire you talk about diversity you talk about representation you may need to hire you may need to get some um black writers in there some more you have Ryan Coogler there. You need some more. Um, you got all that black talent. You have those strong black actors, and you're not using them. You're not using it. You didn't use Idris Elba. You're not using um, Anthony Mackie. And I'll give Falcon and the Winter Soldier a hall pass because you all had to deal with COVID. I will give you all a hall pass for that. But. You know, they said they're doing reshoots on Captain America 4. I hope it will be well polished. Um, because when it comes to the black experience, Disney, you've fallen off. Matter of fact, you fell in a ditch. And your ride is going down, down the hill. Um, please catch up. I want everybody to stay safe. And I want everybody to love your tribes. And I want everybody to vote. Everything Robert De Niro told you is absolutely true. Okay? Get out and vote. Don't be mad at nobody else. Okay? I'm tired of this. I'm mad at black men. I'm telling black women. I'm mad at black women. I'm mad at LGBTQ. I'm mad at uh, children. I'm mad at black children. I'm mad at black cats. I'm mad at black cocker spaniels. I don't want to hear none of that no more. Uh, Y'all, please, get out here and vote, okay? The struggle is very much real, okay? We can't, you know, we can be in a worse situation. We really can. Well, you can be in a worse situation in a year if you don't get out here and vote, and you know just what I'm talking about. But I'm going to say this again. Um, y'all stay safe. Y'all love all y'all tribes, and y'all please, please, please get out and vote. Good night.